Carlsen dus de leider met nog twee als te gaan. Alexander Noreen, de leider in het club, is met een 65. Maar Edfors en Lafeber hebben natuurlijk nog een kansje om uh, dichterbij te komen. En Maarten Lafeber. Waar zijn we inmiddels met de Nederlander? Op de zevende. Nou, die moeilijke hal, u weet het. Goed t-shot en dan hybride erachteraan. En dan gewoon prima op de green. Goed gespeeld de Lafeber. Zelfs een kansje op Birdie hier op 7. Maar een par, zoals gezegd, is al mooi. Lafeber heeft een kans op een nieuwe Birdie. Heeft hij al zoveel gemaakt vandaag. Geen slechte put. Simpele par. En we hebben hier al wat dramaatjes gezien vandaag. En dan Maarten Lafeber zagen we een par maken op de zevende. Hij had een par op de achtste. En dan hier deze lange put op de negende. Meter of twaalf over de rigel heen. Valt hij of valt hij niet? Hij valt wel. Een lange put voor Lafeber. Hij kwam terug in dertig slagen. Maakte zes birdies naar de turn. En een sublieme 64 voor de Nederlander. Dus hij gedeeld eerste samen met Edfors en met Carlsen. Prima ronde dus van Maarten Lafeber. Een 64. Hij had vijf birdies voor de turn. Hij had er zes. Hij had elf birdies op de kaart. Maar ook een bogey en een dubbel bogey op zijn negende hol. De achttiende maar een prima start. Maar dan nu het vervolg. He just might need those golf clubs. Sorry? <laughs> He just might need those golf clubs. I know. <laughs> Still nothing distracts Martin a favor. Spoke too soon. It's into the water and um, I hate to say I told you so, but um, that's the sort of thing that can happen to Martin. It all looks pretty good there. Now let's see what happens. There you go. There's the drop inside. Now you get a little bit trapped. That's why it's going right. Now if you don't roll the hands over, look, he's tried to rescue it with the hands, but it's all too late. So you are Martin Lefebvre through 16. He's minus 14. All looks good until you know that... Uh, he drove into the water. Doesn't look quite so good now. This is Martin Lefebvre who leads the Portugal Masters. He's on the 17th, but you can just see to his right the red line. He drove into the lateral water hazard. So this is his third shot. Uh, still in the rough, but doesn't look too bad. That's a wicked pin there on that angle. Well, there's still a chance to make a par here. 122 is the yardage to a front flag. And this par five today is playing at its toughest. Straight into the teeth of the breeze out of the left-hand side, pushing you towards the water. So this is just a wedge. Doesn't need to worry about the spin because he's in the semi-rough. And you don't get to 14 under par without being sharp with the wedge. That's fairly sharp. Almost made a four. Very good shot. May well uh, recall his five. Now, what of our leader, Martin Lefebvre? This uh, par putt, having been in the water on 17. Believe me, he is definitely feeling the tension, feeling the nerves of being ahead and his lead has been cut by one and the problem with doing this is it doesn't fill you with confidence for the closing stretch over the following couple of days as well well on the 18th at um, Pilamora you need a little bit of confidence and this is tough today this 18th straight back into the breeze slightly out of the left and in the direction of the setting sun fresh off a bogey don't go left. It's thick, the rough over there on the right. If he finds the fairway, all good. Beauty. Well, that's all good. 
Yeah, it's OK. It's very good. Well, that was an excellent tee shot from Lefebvre. 192 the yardage. Flag only on 17 over there on the left. Wind into out of the left-hand side. Down. Down. Good swing, but down. get down. Big style. That's a good shot. Well, if you're going to miss it, it's perfectly acceptable to miss it long on 18. Short will find a watery grave. And he'd be quite happy if he two puts that. He can get over one bogey in the last two holes, but bogey in the last two front running will send a sign to the rest of the field that, well, he is stumbling. Short, guys, I'm sorry. Oh, yes, yeah. Yeah, that was always going to happen. Shorter than you, right? I'm five foot 11, what are you talking about? Yeah, I know, shorter than you. Well, it's just the less length that he missed at the 17th. Well, it happens very rarely, but uh, we've run out of time. We have to, to leave it, but we leave it uh, pretty well balanced uh, with Martin Lefebvre. Leading... The halfway leader was Dutchman Martin Lefebvre. He began the week with rounds of 64 and 67, but trod water somewhat with a third round 72, derailed by bogeys on three par fives. The Fabers 13 under going into Sunday, one behind Finland's Mikko Ilonen.